Hey YouTube, what's going on? Brandon here with another printer video. Today we've got the HP Photosmart 6510. And uh, basically if you are having any issues printing a certain color, you have streaks or you've got something like this where you don't have it coming out like it should. Uh, I deal with these printers all the time and uh, this is a method I'm about to use that works 90% of the time uh, given the circumstances. Um, basically I'm going to explain what I do here and a little bit of demonstration so you're gonna want a few things um, as you're doing this you're gonna want to have some uh, paper towel very inexpensive products some paper towel uh, you're gonna want to have some isopropyl alcohol the purest form you can get 91% is good um, and you're gonna want to have either a syringe or some type of isopropyl alcohol spray Okay, with the same uh, isopropyl alcohol, 91%. I really recommend the syringe. You can get this on Amazon.com. Just look for syringe to clean uh, print head. Do a general search and you should be able to find what you need. There are even better ones than this, but I have no problem using this one. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is take out all the ink and make sure your print head is here in this position, which you can get by going into the program uh, and hitting uh, replace ink cartridges. This is going to stay here like this. Um, the second step I would do is turn this off. You would basically turn it off and then hold this in place. You're not going to damage anything. Just make sure you're a little bit gentle with it. Don't hold it too firmly. Um, let it move a little bit, but not enough to uh, go and get locked in on the side there. Once it's off, you're going to want to have a, a paper towel just like that under it. And I've already kind of started this. So that's kind of what you're going to get. Basically, the isopropyl alcohol and the clogged ink are going to go down into that towel. And um, basically, you just go over each nozzle with the syringe. You put it over each one, use two hands, or if you have a specific syringe, that'd be great for this type of print head. Sometimes you only have to use one hand. Um, and then you're going to go ahead and do each one, whichever one needs the most. That's the one that you focus on. Uh, and do it as many times as you feel is needed. Uh, after that, you're going to see good results. You're going to want to test it after you do that. I recommend you doing it multiple times while it's in this position so you don't have to go back and forth. Um, so go ahead and do that. Once you are done and you feel satisfied with the amount of pressure you've applied to each nozzle or the amount of spraying you've done with the, if you're using the isopropyl alcohol spray, um, which is, you know, these are very cheap methods. Then you would go ahead and take, make sure you take out that paper towel, put the ink back in, make sure you're not low on ink because that is most of the problem. When you're running low ink, that will cause problems with your print head. Make sure you have bought, you bought new ink, go ahead and put it back in and then go ahead and test it. Now make sure that everything is dry, especially these uh, connectors. Do not make the mistake of getting those wet and then starting the printer, you will have issues. Make sure everything is dry when you're doing this. Um, when you're turning it back on, go ahead, turn it back on, test it as many times as you need to. If you don't, if you still don't have desired results, run a cleaning program in here, which you should have done before you've done this uh, step. Uh, and, you know, if you need to repeat the process, go ahead and do it. Now, if this doesn't work, then, you know, you've, uh, you take your other options, which is plan B and C, which would be talking to HP support, buying a new printer. You can't really buy a new print head on this. These are difficult. Um, so that is basically what you would do so i hope this was helpful i hope uh, this solves your problem um, if you have any questions comment below now i do have an amazon store uh, if you want to buy printers like this one or another one if you're having too many issues with it or something that has similar ink i can sell it to you use i'm usually the, i'm always the lowest price on amazon if not just email me and i'll lower the price uh, within reason so uh, thanks for watching and until next time